to my channel. It's your girl Lissy, and today, guys, the tea is hot. And you know what's cold? The McDonald's ice cream machines that are never working, okay? Why is it that when I want to go to McDonald's and get an ice cream, every single time the ice cream machine is broken? Drop a like on the video if you guys agree that the machines are always broken. Also, drop a like if you guys agree that Ronald McDonald's old design was really spooky. Anyways, guys, today we're going to be talking about the scariest and weirdest and worst McDonald's toys that were ever released or put into Happy Meals. I'm sure we've all had a McDonald's Happy Meal at least once in our life, you know, because who wouldn't want to get a Happy Meal. They always put so many crazy cool toys inside to lure us into getting another Happy Meal and sometimes some of the toys they put in there are kind of spooky. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on my weekly videos. And congratulations to today's daily shoutout winners and if you want to win a shoutout, just leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shoutout in the next video. But without further ado, let's just get on to talking about these toys. Okay, let's take a look at the scariest slash weirdest kids toys that McDonald's has ever made. I'm really curious. I'm getting those Happy Meal toys. Oh, sure, yes. Sure, it was a ripoff paying for loads of meals to get that tiny piece of of plastic. But Actually, I do want to pause the video and say there was a lot of times I would go to McDonald's just to get certain toys because they released like My Little Ponies or Little's Pet Shop and they did take my money so they know how to get the kids in there. But they were super fun, right? They also, were so we fun. Turns out sometimes though, Ronald McDonald wasn't feeling his old happy self and made these really damn creepy. Some of these Honestly, toys- Honestly though, have you guys seen the old Ronald McDonald? You guys don't want to know what he looks like? Yeah, he looks like that. I'm just saying he is a little spooky. Dangerous and some are what just plain that? scary and will give you nightmares. <laughs> Coming up first, we have dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? They sound fun. Every kid loved playing with those dinosaurs. I love especially dinosaurs. Little boys. So that's why in the early 2000s, McDonald's decided to put some in their Happy Meals. Okay. They made a bunch Doesn't of these plastic bad. dinosaur toys and they thought kids would like them. Only I probably was, would. They were cheaply made in China, so the quality wasn't great. Oh. As you can see. Whoa! Dinosaurs! Okay, when I heard the word dinosaur, I was thinking, cool dinosaurs. What the heck are these? Like, okay, that looks like a crocodile in the middle, like a construction crocodile. This guy right here looks like the Kinder Egg. And this guy over here looks like the dragon tails. Okay, I'm a little horrified. Turned out to be plain disturbing. Those Some are of them disturbing. Look more like crocodiles or alligators than For dinosaurs. real! And the baby dinosaur even resembles an alien creature. <laughs> it it kind of does look like an alien. It literally does look like one of those. Of an actual baby. People That's reminisced scary. about these dinosaur toys in an online forum. And <laughs> much everyone said they got nightmares and had to throw their toys. Like, what is that on the side there? Imagine that's like on the box of your Happy Meal. Um, people went to go get those? Uh, no, thank you. I'm a good. It's away. What wussy kids wouldn't want to play with this E.T. looking toy? <laughs> Not me. Next up is Ronald McDonald Mars. <gasps> oh, I've heard about these masks. They actually released like a mask of Ronald McDonald and they were horrifying. Just wait. Everyone knows the clown Ronald McDonald. Ronald, my man. <laughs> the only problem was McDonald's didn't realize most people don't like clowns. Nope, they don't. In fact, don't. it's one of the most common phobias of all time. It's kind of so weird. that's why in 2003, McDonald's stopped using Ronald McDonald. What? One of the reasons why they stopped using him was because of one desire. Disastrous toy. This toy released in the <laughs> That's the mask scary. Is to be friendly and fun, but it looks more like the clown from it. It kind of does. To movies like Ooh. it and the Joker, clowns just aren't funny. Honestly, like most of the time, clowns are resembled in horror movies or in like spooky ways. Like that one time, remember when like schools were getting shut down because people were dressing up as clowns and doing bad things? I don't know. Clowns are usually resembled with spooky stuff for the most of it, or just humorous birthday clowns who make fun little balloon animals, which never bothered me but you know anymore kids were really freaked out by this mask and also it was i don't blame them because of the oily foods it was next to Ew. i'd say this is probably one of the most sad happy meal toys of all time you could actually pay me not to wear a greasy <laughs> mask. honestly same next up is food fun dementals food fundamentals if you're a true 90s kid you remember back in the 90s mcdonald's released a bunch of toys known as food fun dementals i don't they were getting a lot think of i was around for these food was unhealthy so instead of adding fruits to the menu, they simply added fruit toys. The what? toys were in creepy faces. Oh my goodness! Food. Okay, what? Who thought this was a good idea? What are those? Oh, fat milk. Why does she got eyelashes like me? They've got a steak with a Mr. Potato looking face, an apple winking. Oh, she's trying to get flirty. And whatever the heck that is. I think it's some sort of sandwich. Who would even want to go there and get this in their Happy Meal? At that point, I'm not even going to buy a Happy Meal. This included some low-fat milk, a steak, a tomato, <clears throat> and a sandwich. That's a tomato? The tomato named Ruby and the sandwich named Otis. The corn, though. The fat milk is straight out of nightmares. That is so Neither scary. Say, not popular and was soon discontinued. 
But That's if you so. do have some of these, you could sell them for big money. Recently big money! EBay for nearly $100. Whoa, ka -ching. I would sell Next mine up too. Is swearing minions. Swearing minions? Okay, if you guys did not know, I have a literal phobia of minions, okay? They're just so bright and so yellow and they scare me a lot. I really don't like minions. One time I went to Universal Studios and I met minions and it was really scary. Uh, I'm scared right now. Are you scared? What do you mean you don't like minions? Why are you getting a photo? <laughs> Anyways, okay, continuing on. I really don't. Know ah! Get it away! Gone from being a small part of the I hate to the them. them. Way, way so bigger. ugly. In 2015, Pixar's minions teamed up with McDonald's. Oh no! With Happy Meals, they released some talking minion toys. <laughs> that was a that bad idea. Like a good toy compared to other Happy Meal toys. No. But <laughs> parents were very, very displeased because <laughs> the minions appeared to say "f you." No. Now, no way! Instead, the minions That's are funny. speaking a made-up language. Minion Isn't like the only thing minions say like banana or ba 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 ba. -da. Oh, it's so annoying. This is minions, of, of gibberish, course. But some of that gibberish did not sound good. In fact, it sounded like some of these minions were cursing. These minions were quickly taken off the market. <laughs> but that's not before a lot of parents complained about their oh, kids' man. scary Happy Meal toys. Minions be out here causing chaos. I wonder if there's any videos of like the minions actually doing that. I'm now very curious about that. Up next is Sky Dancers. Oh, Sky Dancers! I've Back talked about the 2000s, these. Back in the this was the most popular toy yep. every girl wanted. And these they were one of the most recalled toys in general. And I didn't even know McDonald's put them in Happy Meals because these things were causing chaos. We've talked about these in our most deadly toy videos creepy wide-eyed fairies oh those are creepy though the they look extra they creepy very sharp fast moving wings yup yup dangerous be very dangerous <laughs> Many girls who played with them were smacked in the face <laughs> as they catapulted up into the air. But not only Yikes. were these kind of dangerous, some said they were kind of creepy too. They have Honestly, very eerie... look at their faces though. These McDonald's versions of the Sky Dancers are even scarier than the toy versions that were out on the shelves. Like, what is their face doing in this photo, okay? Smiles and gigantic, <laughs> bulging eyes. Ugh. And they were quite repetitive too. All you would do is launch them into the air and they'd fall <laughs> back down. Kids also loved trolling their siblings by shooting them at a- Kids would use them as weapons. They would like launch them at each other and try to like hit each other's eyeballs. That would really hurt if a sky dancer just flew right into your eyeball. Like that could cause some serious injuries, okay? That's why they were recalled. But that again proves how dangerous these toys really were. Mm -hmm, they were some dangerous. Kids said to have is Rasputin. What? What I'm is sure that? We all know about Rasputin, either from history class or in the M song. But in the late 90s, a movie named Anastasia. I've never was really heard of it, honestly. Went crazy for it. It introduced kids to Russian history and folklore. And at the time, the movie teamed up with McDonald's to produce Ugh. a Rasputin toy. That is when kids spooky toy, as heck. They it was actually very creepy. That is creepy. Body parts this thing looks evil. Like, it looks demonic, okay? What kind of kid would want to get this thing in their McDonald's toy? Look at that beard. It's like Rapunzel's hair. Pushing a button on his back. This is likely a play on what happened to Rasputin as he was assassinated. But That's spooky. Were that their kids were playing with this very scary toy. That is scary. Considering kids, it was pretty gruesome. Also, that is. Also, you make a kid's toy based off one of the most dark stories in history? Like, why would they do that? If it was, like, that dark and that, you know, deep, why would they make a toy for it? What? Next up is Halloween Hamburglar. Halloween Hamburglar? Oh, I've heard of this. I've heard of this. I know, know, what this. Is. I know who the Hamburglar is. McDonald's had two mascots. Yeah. McDonald's and the ham burglar. So this one right here is the ham burglar and I remember this because I think I used to get like little Halloween buckets with like the ham burglar on it like back when I was like four or five. I don't know how I remember that but I just do. Ham burglar was basically Ronald McDonald's evil counterpart. Mm -hmm. He was a villain who would steal hamburgers. Me? <laughs> That's like my accurate representation of me as a villain. Me out there just stealing the hamburgers at 3 a.m. He looks like he looks like a gopher. And he was also supposed to be kind of scared. So that's why <laughs> he is a little scary. in 1988, McDonald's brought out a Halloween-inspired hamburger. Dang. Him look like a scary witch. Okay, and he looks like a goblin, honestly. He burst into tears after getting this toy. He a spider crawling on his face, which is the number one phobia in the world. Oh, sure yeah, I hate scream. spiders. I don't know about you guys, but this doesn't even look like the hamburger. It looks like the goblin or the guy behind the mask. You guys know that movie with the guy behind the mask? You know, the one, the green mask? That's an old movie. Don't ask how I remember that, but it looks like that. Why his tongue is so big. When you move this toy around, its eyes would move and track you around the room. Oh, so what? Needless to say, that Halloween that kids is spooky. Did not get much I wouldn't sleep. want that toy. Coming up next is Creepy Jellyfish. Creepy Jellyfish? That sounds kind of fun. This part of the promotion of the movie Shark Tales. <laughs> 
Shark Tale's characters look so weird. I'm sorry. I just had to say that. Tell and McDonald's teamed up to make some of the characters into Happy Meal toys. Oh, this is going to end badly. Ah! Wait, the Shark Tale jellyfish look like this? <laughs> I thought the main characters were scary enough, but the jellyfish? Okay, girl, I'm not trying to be rude to them, but why do they look like that? Character. Not Ooh. only does he have a face like the rapper Future, but some said the shape was also kind of suggestive. That, that does not, that's, that just does not look right on a lot of levels. Why would they ever release Maybe that? Maybe parents have their minds in no the gutter. No way. But what are you guys That just fun? doesn't look I right. Say, I've never seen a jellyfish <laughs> that looks anything like this. <laughs> that doesn't look like a jellyfish. And on the list, we have Play-Doh mini packs. Play-Doh, oh! I remember when they used to put like little Play-Doh things in like the McDonald's toys. I think I had Stitch ones before and I was so excited for those when they had the Lilo and Stitch ones. We all know that toys come with warnings saying do not eat. Mm -hmm, but with mm -hmm. this one, I'm not oh, sure Oh, kids never cared. When I was little and I went to like daycare and stuff, people would always eat, or the kids would always eat the Play-Doh. Thought kids wouldn't try and swallow the toy. <laughs> They'll try. Play-Doh and McDonald's teamed up to make a Happy Meal oh, toy. The toy this is came not with well. Play-Doh and a mold so <gasps> they could make their favorite I've McDonald's seen that before. Okay, I feel like I've played with that exact kit to make like little fake McDonald's food and I thought it was real and I tried to eat it in like preschool. Maybe I did. Maybe I was the Play-Doh eating kid. Okay, anyways. The idea may seem pretty fun, but mm -hmm. there was a big chance kids would ingest the toy while playing with it. Yikes! It is definitely not good to eat Play-Doh. Mm -mm. And according to many people reminiscing <laughs> on forums, they did in fact eat this toy. But yeah, now it's time to make your I think I did too. So guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think was the scariest or weirdest McDonald's kid story that was shown in today's video? Let me know in the comments down below. And guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!